Welcome back, any fans. Preston at home today. I think it's a must win today. I'm lucky at Plymouth, really, but it's a must win today. And I think we will, but I'm 2 1. What do you think, Mush? Yeah, I thought they played really well a Tuesday night. It was a real downer one at Wednesday for everyone. Must have been a hard day. Hopefully, they dusted themselves down Thursday, got back on the training pitch. I'm pretty confident today, although I was confident Tuesday. I'm going to go 2 0. Who's on the Wall of Fame today then, Mush? Wall of Fame today? A loan spell in 2019 that didn't seem to work out at Preston very well. After his loan spell with us 2018-19, playing 12 times and scoring five goals, the one everyone will remember is the goal at Norwich. Today, it's Andre Green. Mark and Tim, I personally I think Tuesday we played very well, but uh, I wouldn't make any changes, but would you? Difficult one. Um, I think that we need consistency as much as changes. Stick with the 11. Um, look to bring on a bit of pace if we can from the bench, but stick with it. Consistency is the key. Yeah, I mean, we were screaming out for a finisher. Colby Bishop, we were, we're missing him a lot right now. Calf and Harry, um, bit of an indifferent start, but you seem a hard team to beat. Yeah, we have been a hard team to beat. Um, we've also thrown games away where we should have won. So we were beating Norwich 2-0 and drew two apiece, and the Plymouth one away 3-0 and drew three apiece. So we've had an OK kind of start, but could be better, yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> I'll leave it to him. I, you right. can do all the... <laughs> all right. Ash and Sheila, um, we played well on Tuesday, and personally, I wouldn't make any changes. Would you? <sighs> Only one change I'd make, and that's McIntyre at the back. I don't rate him. I think he's made too many mistakes this season. Um, okay. I think he's not good enough for the league. I think, in my honest opinion, we made a massive mistake uh, getting rid of our... What the fuck is it called? Um, Raggett. I can't swear on the channel. Sorry, sorry, my bad. Getting rid of Raggett last season, so yeah. Any changes you'd make today? See how it goes. Okay. I'll give him a chance. Yeah. yeah. Chris and Alfie, what's the score going to be today? 3-1 North End. I'm going to sit up fence with a draw. Kev, um... Tuesday night, I personally think it was good. Um, I wouldn't make any changes today, but would you? I'm not sure, to be honest. Uh, I think we're missing Sean to see in defence. I can only hope that they can turn the corner. Yeah. And uh, score prediction for today? 2-0, Pumpy. Oh, I'd love 2-0. We haven't won at home. They haven't won away. It's going to be a draw, isn't it? An indifferent start, but you seem to be a hard team to beat. If we could score goals, we'd be... A lot higher in that division. I honestly do believe that. Where do you think you finish? Mid-table, like we normally do. Mid-table, yeah. Score prediction. Where do you win? Away from home. I think Portsmouth will score. I'll go with a 2-1 Preston. Score prediction? I would have said 2-1 as well. Yeah. Already in the Christmas spirit, I can see. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, what could be better than this? Hey, only £35. Get, your, get yours right now. Score prediction. 2-1 Pompey. 3-0 Pompey. Uh, anyone we should look out for today? Uh, Kessler, Aiden, not right. This is a must-win game for us today, but would you be happy with the point? No, I don't think I would, no. no. Difficult place to come from, Park. You have good support and everything, haven't you? Uh, we need the three. It's, it's, it's a little bit of a six-pointer, because if you win, you're a lot closer to us. Score prediction? Going to be bold and go 3-1. Pompey. Uh, Jack Watmore, ex-Pompey boy, how's he been getting on? Yeah, uh, not been in the side much, to be honest. We've got a good back three. When he's played, he's been good. He's been decent, yeah. I've just looked at the lineup, and Colby Bishop is apparently on the bench. Is he? Well, the twist is that we don't think he was originally picked as our 26 for the squad, unless there was a mistake, and that's a mistake, but what do you think of that? See, I'll be honest, last season I was a bit of a Yengi over Bishop for the moment, but seeing the way Yengi's performed this season, biggest Yengi fan here, but I'll be honest, I think he's not cutting it at the minute in the Championship, so hopefully Bishop's got it, and if he is well enough to play, you know he's going to get that standing applause, so yeah, I can't, I can't lie, I'm excited if he is a... Today's player profile is our up-and-coming goalkeeper, Toby Stewart. Toby Stewart, player profile, big card. You have got number three. Uh, if you weren't a footballer, what would you be? Oh, God knows. Probably, um, 
had nothing. I don't I've got no idea. I was probably working Tesco somewhere. I've got no idea. No idea. Um, what's your least favourite training exercise? Least favourite tr uh, training exercise? Um, what do we say, like, what are we talking about, like, on the football pitch or in the gym or... I'd say just just the tough sessions where the, where the keeper coach has got you diving about and you're absolutely blowing. Yeah, that's that's not my favourite. Um, who are the friendliest away fans you've encountered? But it can't be Pompey. Friendliest away fans, as in like they're friendly, or as in they just don't sing much, like either. Uh, um, say Preston fans weren't weren't that vote like weren't that rude tonight. So uh, yeah, that's probably them. And who's the most fo most famous person you've met, and anyone you'd like to meet? Oh, I think most famous person I've met, oh, Night C, absolute legend, Alan Knight, obviously. Uh, anyone, like anyone I'd like to meet? Who would I like to meet? I'd like to meet. They can be dead. Can be dead. Uh, don't know, probably like Mike Tyson or something like that, just because it's a bit interesting, isn't it? But if we get Pompey in it. Pompey in it. Thanks, Toby. Cheers, mate. Thank, Thank you. Half time, 2 0, Pompey. What a half. What a half indeed. Both goals, cracking goals. I mean, Ogilvy's one was literally a tap in. Josh Murphy, what a cracker it was. I mean, it's been some good football. And I think we've been quite dominant, and I think we definitely deserve to win the game. Yeah, brilliant, brilliant first half. All Pompey. Um, thoroughly deserve a two goal lead. Fingers crossed, the same second half, and we can only see three points for Pompey. Yeah. Hopefully, Colby Bishop comes on. And wouldn't it be brilliant if he got his first goal in championship? Oh, it'd be brilliant, wouldn't it? Yeah, I still can't believe he's on the bench, but yeah, it'd be great. Fantastic. A real boost for everyone, that is. Roll on in the second half. Well, 2-1. Uh, caught Pompey off guard, really. Ball through the gap. Just run through, perfect run. Good, good, good way to score, really. performance and another goal from you can you talk us through it um, another little tap in um, just managed to fall to me and uh, thankfully I could get a toe on it and uh, what was your thoughts on overall on the game today yeah um, 
definitely. I think it's coming together now. Um, we've seen probably last week or so the performance has been better. So, yeah, long may that continue. And obviously we knew the win was coming. It was good football and I think we were so close and we just got over the line today. Yeah, definitely. And um, I think it's been overdue. Um, and thankfully we could get a, a win at Fratton this, this time. Get Pompey in it. Pompey in it. Thanks, Connor. Lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Colby Bishop, uh, a lot of smiles coming out of Fratton Park tonight, but I think you've got the biggest one. How are you feeling? Uh, yeah, I mean, words probably can't describe how I'm feeling now. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy. And uh, you said to us that you were very nervous taking that penalty against Barnsley. Were you more nervous tonight? No, I probably wasn't. I just, I just, I just said from the, this morning, I just knew I was going to get a goal. And as soon as I got the penalty, I just knew that I was going to score. And what's your thoughts on the game overall? I thought we played really well. I thought we were probably the better team. Um, I thought we were really aggressive, um, made them make mistakes. And the fans are brilliant. Um, and that's what we've got to do every time we play at home. And can we get Pompey in it? Pompey in it. Good Thanks, Colby. Thank you. See you. Josh Murphy, uh, what a performance today. Finally getting that much needed, or our first win at Fratton Park. How are you feeling? Uh, buzzing. I think everyone's buzzing. Uh, it's been a long time coming. Um, so, yeah, no, everyone's happy and hopefully we can carry on. And you got your second goal for the club today. What a wonder goal it was. Can you talk us through it? Um, I have been trying to practice um, them long range shots. Um, a couple have been going here, there and everywhere. So it was nice that one of them flew into the back of the net. And um, like I said, it's a much needed win. I've been playing some good football and finally we got over the line today. Yeah, um, I think it was a bit nervy in the second half, um, especially at 2-1. Um, but Lange being Lange uh, wins the penalty and then Colby on his return puts it away. So in the end it was comfortable um, so hopefully yeah, it's, it's something to build on and hopefully we can um, get out of the position we're in and can we get Pompey in it Pompey in it thanks Josh cool. thank, thank you. you we get Pompey in it Pompey in it Pompey in it cheers guys thank cheers. you we get Pompey in it Pompey in it thank you can we get Pompey in it it's Pompey in it Pompey in it thank you and can we get Pompey in it Pompey in it boys thank you thank you can we get Pompey in it there's only one north end North End. <laughs> Thank you. You're very well. Full time, 3 1 win. Finally got that first win at home. Um, well, I think a cracking performance. We were definitely the better team and we definitely deserved to win that game, didn't we? We did, although Preston come out second half. I thought it was going to be like, whole oh, a game of two halves mm. for 10 minutes. They scored early, didn't they? Different side yeah. second half, made their subs. And I thought Pompey dealt with it really well. Um, yeah. I, was it comfortable? Yeah, I think it was in the I end. I think it was. Um, I mean, the first half performance was worth the three points, I thought. Oh, definitely. Um, yeah, so, oh, brilliant. And to see Colby back, whew. It's a booster for all of us, really, the players and the fans. Definitely, definitely. I mean, it must be a massive boost for them boys in the change rooms, you know. And obviously, they know what's going on at the training ground, but what a boost. I mean, when we thought it was a mistake, didn't we, before the game, when it was on the team sheet? Yeah, yeah. I, really I genuinely thought, well, that's got to be an error, because yeah, I don't think it was... Error. I didn't think he was like yeah. in, even in the 26 so, that were picked. Just absolutely fantastic. Fantastic to see him tonight. He got a coat hanger in his mouth with a smile, and he absolutely brilliant. Um, yeah, and just only wishing the best. Yeah, yeah. It's fantastic. Uh, fantastic performance. You know, we're, we're only, what, three points off of, off, off it now, if you, yeah. I suppose. So, you know, going into the next game, I think international break. Yeah, brilliant. Really happy. Well, I hope you liked today's video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you in two weeks' time for Blackburn Away.